A kite surfer has been filmed flying his board over a pier as people watch from below. Well, today the stunt by Lewis Cratton was described as very dangerous by the owners of Brighton Pier. Lifeboat crews also expressed their concern. Mr Cratton says as an experienced kite surfer, he took adequate safety precautions before making the jump. Malcolm Shaw has our report. Taking advantage of 40 mile per hour winds, a kite surfer approaches Brighton Pier. He leaps high into the air above spectators and flies right over the massive structure. Today I spoke to Lewis Crathern, the surfer involved. Isn't it incredibly reckless? Couldn't you injure yourself or even worse, perhaps hit somebody else? Well, there's, there's always going to be that argument, but you know, there's plenty of people having accidents who are driving vehicles every day. I think this is a really something I wouldn't do if I wasn't 100%. I'd do it. I have a good bunch of friends, a good team that that follow me, which made sure they're on the pier, keeping people, pedestrians and public away. But others say the stunt put lives at risk. Today, the owners of Brighton Pier described the jump as a very dangerous thing to do and said they could not condone it. The helmsman of the Brighton lifeboat also expressed concern about what would have happened if the jump had gone wrong. Kite surfing, as with any extreme sport, is, is, is an extremely dangerous pastime. Uh, it, it doesn't come without its own risks. When you mix that with um, hostile sea conditions and a pier, then, yeah, the, the, um, the consequences are unthinkable, really, if it had have gone wrong. It's not the first time Lewis Crathern has attempted such a jump. In November last year, he did the same thing in his hometown of Worthing, and he admits he's an adrenaline junkie. It's hard to explain. You go from thinking it's not possible to there's a way that I could, I could do this. It's not really a thought which goes into it, it's a feeling and an expression. But the daredevil antics could be over. Lewis says he'd think long and hard before attempting to kite surf over a pier again. Malcolm Shaw in Brighton, Fort Meridian tonight. Well, all day today we've been asking what you think about the stunt. Let's start with John Rees from Oxford. He says maybe an entrepreneur could be persuaded to fund the start-up of a new sport with safety precautions. Scott Morehouse says, of course it's dangerous, but he seems to have taken precautions very much like evil Knievel. On Twitter, Paul Weaver in Ibiza wrote, life is for living, I think it's great. But Jane Cantillon disagreed and simply wrote, foolish in this weather or any weather perhaps come to that. Thank you very much for all of your views.